때문에 그래 애꿎은 전화하기만 미워지지 않아 잘해주어 지난 말던가 남쪽이나 까지만 타긴 싫은지 굳이 이 일을 날게 수십 시간 한번 가져보니까 이렇게 싹쩍 날게 되는 거야 이렇게 해서 이렇게 해서 이렇게 해서 이렇게 해서 이렇게 해서 이렇게 해서 오늘은 애써 모른 척 못하겠어 이제 솔직히 My name is Damien Bapil and I'm from Damsala, Himajit Pradesh. Hey guys, I'm Maria from Bangalore. I hope you guys enjoy watching the video and learning new things. Hello guys, I'm Sonia Sahu from Psychology Department. I'm from Bhilai, Chhattisgarh. And I really hope that you will enjoy our study and activity session. Hey guys, so today we are going to look at the refraction of light experiment. To conduct this experiment, you will require some water, a glass and a piece of paper with arrows marked on them. To understand this experiment better, we need to know what refraction means. Refraction is the bending of light as it passes from one transparent medium into another. Now let's move on to performing the experiment. To perform the experiment you will have to keep the paper a little further away from the glass and view it from this angle. Now slowly pour water into the glass to see what happens. Can you see how the arrows change the directions? This is due to refraction. So to understand what happened, let's look at this image. These are the arrows. And this is a glass of water. So what happened was, when light passes through air into the glass of water, it bends due to refraction. And hence, when we view from this side, we can see the inverted arrow. Let's look at the candle and water experiment. For this experiment, you will require a glass, a candle, a plate and some colored water which you can make using food color. Now we need to light the candle and place it into the center of the plate. Next we need to take the glass and slowly cover the candle. Can you see how the water entered into the glass? This is because the air inside the glass heats up and expands due to the flame. And when it heats up, it moves out through the gaps between the plate and the glass. The remaining air cools down and this forms a low vacuum. And due to the low pressure, the water enters into the glass. So guys, today we will see how soap works. For this, we need a plate, water, hand wash or simple soap and black pepper. So what we will do is we will pour some water in the plate and pour the black pepper in water. So you can see when I pour my finger on the water, it sticks to my fingers. Can you see? Now we will repeat this activity by taking hand wash on my hands. So you can see like how it's repelling the black pepper particles. This is because junk stick to the oil and grease on our hands and it sounds so yucky, isn't it? Because water and 
oil don't like each other so they won't mix but soap like both water and oil that's because soap molecules are a type of surfactant which means they have one end that's water loving or hydrophilic and one end that's oil loving or hydrophobic when you wash your hands with the soap the soap molecules act as a mediator between the water and oil molecules and bind with both of them at the same time then when you rinse your everything off the soap carries away the germs with water like you can see so for this activity we will show that graphite is a good conductor of electricity to perform this activity we need battery some wire some led lights and a pencil so using this materials will make a circuit so here the circuit is ready so now what we just need to is to join these two batteries and yeah you can see the led is on this shows that graphite is a good conductor of electricity our fun activity begins i'll show you one photo and another photo and then you have to guess that what that pictures means like for example in this i've shown you a photo of medicine and station so what it means yes you're right it means medication we have the second one in which you have to guess so the first photo is this and the second photo is this now guys guess what it can be you just have 10 seconds yes you're right it's circuit like you can see it's a teacher or sir and here is something that is showing cutting so it's circuit the third activity first is this then this you need to guess what it is times up it's catering and it's a pillar so it is none another than caterpillar the next activity is this the first photo and the second photo you need to guess what these both mean times up this is deep diving and this is a city or a place so this is none another than diversity next activity photo is this and this yes guess what's the word Parleji. So I think you can get it now. It's PUBG. Next photo is this and this. So get what it is. Time's up. This is an iron and this is a man. So yes, it's your favorite superhero, Iron Man. Activity is this and this. So guess what it is? If you want, I can give you a hint. It's something that you love playing. Time's up. So this is call and this is duty. So if you are tired, then you can say Call of Duty.